Today we talk about application security and specifically about shifting left on security. But what does that mean? And how can you shift left on security? We will see all of these and more in this three minutes Friday. Hi everybody, welcome back to Coder Dave, where we talk about DevOps, especially with GitHub and Azure DevOps. And welcome back to a new episode of the 3 Minutes series. And as you know, in each episode I will try and explain a concept, showcase a product or a service, and yet try and teach you something and all in just 3 minutes. Short videos, big value, hopefully. Today we talk about shifting left on security. I've briefly talked about this concept in a recent video, where I was reviewing the Sneak Application Security Suite, link in the description. But today I want to focus on it because I know that there's still a lot of confusion in the market when it comes to shifting left on security. And I already know that this video will probably be longer than three minutes, but let's start the clock and get into it. First, what is the meaning of shift left? Shift left is a principle that focuses on executing a practice, implementing a process, or using a tool very early in the development chain. It's called shifting left because the software development lifecycle is commonly represented as a straight line with multiple phases. Traditionally, companies apply security just after the deployment, which is on the right side of the flowchart, but the better practice is to do so during development itself. As you can see, since the development phase is on the left of the chart, we push that arrow to the left, hence shift left. Also notice that this doesn't mean you will do security just once, but it should be applied all the way from day one of development to after having your application in production. And we have seen it for security, but this could and should be applied also to other practices, like for example, testing. And by the way, if you're enjoying this video or you find it insightful, well, click the like button below so more people can see this video. And of course, that will mean a lot to me. Anyway, moving on, let's talk about the benefit that we can have by shifting left on security. In fact, there are many benefits that can be achieved with a shift left strategy. First one is a better automation. It is in fact much easier and effective automating security testing and scanning when they run against the source code rather than a deployment environment. And there are a lot of tools like SAST, Dust, etc., which can help. And automation, of course, also means lesser, fewer, lesser, fewer. And automation, of course, also means lesser human errors, more coverage, and fewer to no issues in production. Another benefit is time. If you apply continuously security scanning and vulnerability testing while developing, then you have much more time to find and fix vulnerabilities. While if you do so just before going to production or even worse, after deployment, well, you don't have much time to fix problems and also you have a little time to scan and find vulnerabilities. And this is why shifting left on security is a best practice. Now let's address the elephant in the room, because when I talk with clients, teams and companies about shifting left on security, I always receive the same questions. What about the security team? Should we get rid of it? The answer is of course no. While shifting left on security means that development team in while shifting left on security means that security is now a responsibility also for the development team, it doesn't mean that it's only on them. And in fact, the security team still plays a very important role. All the things like penetration testing, RBAC, etc., are still important and should still be performed. And usually they are performed by the security team. Additionally, the development team should follow procedure, guidelines, and best practices. And who's better in defining them than the security team itself? The big difference is that now security is a responsibility of all the actors in the development flow and not anymore only of the security team. Everyone shares it. So much so that I don't actually like to talk about development, operations, and security teams like different teams anymore, because they should work together as a single team from the very beginning of the development effort till the end. All right, now that we have that out of the way, there's one more thing I wanna talk about. How can companies shift left on security? As you can imagine, there is no single way of doing it, but there are a few practices that you can and should consider implementing if you want to shift left on security. First of all, add security scanning and vulnerability scanning as early as possible in your development flow. Every time you open a pull request, there should be a security scan running for it and it should block the PR if vulnerabilities are present. This way you stop vulnerable code to reach your main branch. Some tools allow you to scan your code even before pushing that to the main repo, and that of course would be even more beneficial. Second, have the same scanning in your CI, meaning the CI in your main branch, for each push or merge. Furthermore, schedule a scan at fixed intervals, perhaps weekly, 
so you can make sure that your codebase is constantly checked even if you don't commit or merge anything should new vulnerabilities be discovered in the meantime. Additionally, you should treat any remediation or security work as part of your normal backlog and not as extemporary work. If you want to know more about this practice, I have a video that I made before. You can find a link up here and in the video description. So I encourage you to look at it when you finish with this one. And finally, as I mentioned many times, have all your teams working together. At the end of the day, you all have the same goal. Developers, operations, and security should work together day in, day out, because this is the only way to have truly secured software and environments. All right, I think I've covered everything. Don't get me wrong, there's much more to talk about this, but first, this is supposed to be a three minutes video, and second, I think we've covered all the basics anyway. Let me know your thought in the comment section below, and I would also like to know how you treat security where you work right now. Also, finally, you may want to check this video over here in which I go through the newly announced security overview in GitHub. But that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I see you in the next video here at Coder Dave. <laughs>